Glickentag sold out. Wow, another unusual intro, and another project started. So some of the projects since my channel update have been cancelled, redone, or yeah, just a whole mess of things. Um, and obviously, you can see something of a new project. This is an original 1933 German bayonet for the Kavanagh 98 Gurt or the K98K. This is a one out of two model, meaning they made two of these, and this is one. Um, this is a, a frog original. I plan to ultimately change this out the frog for it is not stable. And I cannot use this for World War One reenacting, but what I can do is if I were to do a captured soldier, this would be perfect because all captured soldiers were given these bayonets because well they were captured. Um I unfortunately do not know how to take the scabbard and the bayonet out of the frog without damaging it. You can obviously see that the that the stability pin um, for the frog and the scabbard is actually very weak. It's starting to crack. Some parts are starting to um, launch down from the bottom. It the the frog is not in the best condition, but it survived set over seventy five years. So I can give it that. And who knows, since this was made in 1933, and the 81st um, anniversary of the Battle of Crete um, on May 20th, uh, who knows, maybe this could have been in it. I don't know. I'm not seeing any serial numbers. This is the actual bayonet. Um... Yes, this is original. It, it looks very new, but it's original. Um, it has some words in German, and I cannot read German, and, the, and it's kind of been polished, so I'm not so sure. This is just how the scabbard and the frog look like together, with this part here so it, like, it won't stab me in the back or anything. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's got this back part here. Front part here, sharpened. Um, when I went to the antique guy, he was like, this one was specifically sharpened. And it looks like it was, it still is. So, don't do it. But yeah. It has a place for you to put your hand. Right here. It has a whole bayonet um, system thing where, but it's blocked by foam. But when I get like a replica or something, I'll just unblock the foam because he said it's that easy to. And I'll, and I'll test if it can go on. And if I need to take it off, this button here, let's see here, gas pressure release system. Well, not gas, but like a pressure release system, I think, spring? Yeah, this looks like it's a great one for captured soldier reenactment. Um, yeah, great one for captured soldiers um, because, well, yeah, it it's original from World War Two, and my friend has a lot of like helmets. Um, and stuff from World War II. So I would be doing a captured soldier. I would literally just go to him and be like, Hey, can I use one of helmets for an event or so? And he'd probably say yes. But, yeah. I, I, was, I was joining a World War I German unit. But I decided uh, it was kind of too much at the moment because their stuff was really specific. But captured soldiers were basically like taken by Germany and they were like, hey, you're gonna fight for us and you're not gonna like it, but you're gonna do it. And they didn't like it. They didn't like Germany at all, but they had to fight for them. 
um, and it was against their will. They could not choose if they wanted to fight for them or not. So, it's really interesting, because we always look at just the soldiers, but we don't see that they were taken from the normal army duties to fight for another country they didn't like. That's what a captured soldier is. And the reason I would want to reenact one is because I think they're really interesting and have a great story that needs to be told. So, thank you, Soldat, for coming in. And see you in the next one. This is taking forever to finish.